said, I'm going to focus on child, on children population. That's my expertise. So <clears throat> the, uh, so the American, Associ uh, American Pediatrician Association has doing more and more research and proving that babies and children um, are suffering from all this stress and that affect the same thing in a different way from the adults affect the children too. Because has the myth that, oh, children don't have the stress. They have a perfect life. They have a good life. Uh, parents gonna worry about everything, but that's not the truth. They can have all the stress from the prenatal to until lifetime. So how do we see the, uh, the other sides of the psychological effect of stress on children? So we go uh, on the psychosomatic. Uh, we see a lot of nightmares. We see a lot um, go back to an inability to sleep well. We see a lot overeating. So the kids get anxious, the compensation uh, goes to the eating disorder. So we can see a lot on enuresis and echopresis. Kids with five, six years old having accidents in the school, at night, at home. Parents usually look or caretakers look, oh, he's too busy playing video games. No. It's not, it's consequence of the stress. Uh, compulsive behaviors for children, a lot, much more now. Video games, uh, uh, computer games, or more TV is not a big deal these days, but <clears throat> the, the need to get more and more and more. So that is a big issue to um, uh, self-harm when you go to the uh, teenagers population, much more self-harm. And it's very quiet because parents are not aware when a child gets a pencil or something we have at home, a fork or a knife or a scissor, and they cut hiding places like between the legs, nobody can see, or under the arms, nobody can see. If the parents are not aware of that, they're not going to look. When we tell the parents, can you work with us? Oh, no, no, that doesn't exist. Yes, exists, and it's increasing much more. Um, uh, another thing we see a lot is um, the kids, the lack of energy or the opposite, too much energy. And teachers usually they look like as ADHD. We have what we call emotional ADHD or the anxiety on children. It's exactly overlap the ADHD diagnosed by the DSM-5. They hyper, they don't concentrate, they distract them, but it's all caused by emotional, all caused by stress. So it's so easy for parents who want some solution fast, go on medication for the kids. So that is something we need to look at. Another thing that's very important with the children, it's about behavior. Children don't talk. They don't express what's going on. They like a little bugs. They have antennas and they just feel on their bodies all the tension from the parents, from the grow up, from the caretaker, and they hold in their body. So what the expression they have is behavior. They're gonna be more aggressive. They're gonna be more impatient. Everything we talk about since now with the adults happen with children too. Um, and social stress, it's another impact. They can be quiet, they can isolate themselves, or they can uh, be more fightful because the anger, the fear, all that is much bigger on the children because we don't have a big eyes to them. Um, I think it's basically what I would